Mental health is physical health. They are one and the same. When you feel like your ideas are under attack and that like half the country and the people around you are like savages, it presses on your health. This is the point I was going to allude to a second ago. Depression is unprocessed fear of the past. Anxiety is unprocessed fear of the future. Negative emotion about what has happened. Negative emotion about what is going to happen. Right? So in that same scope, we need to stop rewriting history through the lens, through this dark lens of cultural Marxism where it's all about victim and and oppressed groups and, and... That is going to do nothing but make you sad and anxious. All we can do is learn from the past. Don't, don't tell me that Thomas Jefferson was a piece of crap because he had slaves. Obviously, it's bad he had slaves. Slavery is a horrible thing. It is the darkest mark on U.S. history. But that's also the man that wrote this document right here next to me on the wall. From the hand, from the pen of that man wrote, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all man is created equal. Right? The principle was there. The times were not there. Moral relativism can be a, a dangerous thing, right? All we can do is look at that situation and say, That was a great idea. All men are created equal. The world changed at the writing of that pen. The U.S. The the U.S. founding documents that say life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are the only foundational documents in the history of the world that include the word happiness. No other country mentions that. We need to take the good from the past And learn from the good. We need to take the bad from the past. Learn from the past. Don't make those mistakes. The principles and the applications aren't always the same. We could always learn. Do not. If you want to subscribe to this thing that the founding fathers were all bad and evil. And Christopher Columbus was a terrible person. And blah. And all that stuff. What is it doing for for your psyche? Is it making you healthier? Is it making you happier? No. It's it's giving you this tension that we live in this toxic society. And everything is bad. And we need to. It's like. All right. Bad for your mental health. Even if you agree with it, you can't deny the fact that it puts a depression from the past on you that is not going to make you happy, right? So let's move on to the future. So nobody is out to get you. The political polarization puts this pressure on you, this fear of the past you know, like the, the the climate change stuff, the world's going to be over in ten years. The they are, the Trump is trying to strip women of their rights. It's like he is not doing that. Nobody is doing that. The world's not going to be over in ten years. Those sorts of things are only going to give you anxiety. They're going to make you distrust other humans. It's it's they're not going to help. It's no one's no one's out to get you. It's crazy. No one's trying to come out and strip you of your rights. Same thing, you gun people. Like, oh my God, no one's gonna come. There's no way, no way that in the United States of America they're gonna pass legislation where they're gonna come around and collect your guns. That's never gonna happen. Voluntary buybacks, maybe that's reasonable. Both be both. It's, none of that crazy stuff is gonna happen. And when you have clickbait articles saying they are going to happen, it's just going to make you paranoid and angry. The people in the country are going to be like, all oh, those liberals in the city, they're just dead. They're out there. just And all the young people in the cities, are going, all those country folk, they're all simpletons. And Stop. There's these lines I've been saying over and over. No one thinks they're a bad person. Everyone thinks they're trying, and everyone thinks they're busy. 
people you don't agree with. The guy, the guy you want to call the simpleton, the redneck guy out in Wayne County, he brings things to the table that you don't. And you bring things to the table that they don't. We all need to meet in the middle to have conversations. The world's not burning down. It's, take deep breath. We see things from different points of view. And together, we have a higher resolution view of both the past and the future. We are more alike than we are unalike. We are stronger and more healthy together. Don't wrench alone. We all have a lot of love to give. And and that love and that conversation and that affection, that's a that's a currency which 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 is ROI, return on investment, is is better. It's stronger. It has compound interest when when you spend that currency of love and affection with your fe- friends and your family and your strangers. You'll get more out of it doing it that way than doing it on yourself. You invest a dollar in yourself, you get a dollar. You invest a dollar in a friend, you might get back a buck fifty one day, maybe two dollars. Send out the good, bring in the good, right? 